<laughs> so let me okay let's run the let's run the site and see if it, everything is working and then we'll start writing the case this case is for the action Yeah. So I'll go here. I'll try to add few tasks. So here I will see in my reducer. To do is updated with one task count is increased. The reducer count is two, and when I click this, count is one because though there are to do two to do but uh, one of them is done so here I see one so this is working fine so let's go to the followers this page is also working fine okay so <coughs> so we are done with the visibility means user testability on the page but now you need to write the unit test cases for few of the pages which are pending so we completed the reducer yesterday. Let's start uh, working on the action. So for the action, I'll open the action file. <coughs> Sorry. And also, I will create one test case for the site details action dot test dot case. Okay. So this reducer test file test the reducer part, and this action file it will test the action file okay so before before really working on this action file we'll import the action uh, this js file so how will i import so let's copy the import line here i will call the site detail action I'll import the action file because we need all the functions here in this page. Second thing is uh, we need to import the this access part also. Okay, so let's import the access part also. Okay, what else we need? We need uh, V4, yeah, V4 also we need it. So let's import this one. Okay, I may not use this one because I may call the direct action function. So it is automatically taking it, so I may not need to use this one. So let's remove it for now. Okay, so I put the action and this action. So let's give the describe statements. So testing site details action and here I'll create the arrow function so inside this describe I will create multiple describe so let's create one more describe inside the describe so so in this uh, side detail action file before I run anything I'll just see what is the percentage currently covered in this one? And then I'll start writing it. So though it will fail this case because we have not put any test case and it will fail for other pages also, but at least we want to see the percentage. So right now, though I haven't written any code, but um, it's uh, already having some percentage because we have other components uh, we have test cases other components so there is a default percentage 23 is there okay let's make it 100 in few a few minutes okay so let me let play the describe block and what I'm trying to do I want to test every function which I have in my action file so there are three 
function. So I create three described blocks, one for each. There may be more test cases in each one, but describe block is three because we have three functions. One is add to do. Second is update to do. And third one is update followers. Okay, so we will be working on these three parts for our action file. If there are many more functions, we will be adding more here. Okay, so let's start with the uh, to do one. So I will also import So I will import other functions from the site detail action, not the site detail action. We have to import all the functions which we have. One is add to do, second is update to do, and third one is update follows. Okay, so we imported three functions which we have in the action file. And we will write three Describe, describe block for all the three functions. Okay, so this is the first thing. Okay, so now how we have to test the function. Okay, so let's write down the first test case. I will say test. So generally one test case will be su sufficient in this function unless I have this update follower where I need multiple one for this part and one for this part. So here I need two cases, but here I need only one case, here I need only one case. So should should uh, you know dispatch add to do properly. I can put anything, this is just my description. You can put whatever you like. Okay, so this is something I will create one test case here. One test case here, I will say here should dispatch update to do properly. And in the third one, I will say should dispatch update followers properly. And here in this one, update follower, if you see, we have error condition also, so we should test that also. Should dispatch update followers error. Okay, so these two cases we have to handle it. So in, in general, in this action file, I need to take care of one this, one this, and two this one. <coughs> okay, that's what we are trying to do now. Okay, so what I have to do, so in each function you will see we have this dispatch part. Okay, so we have dispatch part. We need to, we need to create a dummy dispatch here. So I will go in the first test, I will say constant dispatch is equal to just dot fn. So this is a dummy function. I will do it for every test because every test needs that dispatch part. Now, now what I have to do, I have to, I have to call this function, I have to call this function and I will name this function calling, uh, I will, when I call this function I will name it as a thunk. So I will say, constant thunk is equal to, I will take the first function add to do and I will try to send something there. What I want to send? Some to do message. So maybe I'll send mango. Whatever I want to pass. So I put this in the variable name thunk. One second. Okay, same thing. One second, I'll be back in one minute. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm back. Now what I'll do, I will create this thing for all the test cases because, but here I will call the update to do. And what update to do needs? And the update to need IDX. So I will pass some ID. Let's pass zero. I want to update zero number. Okay, let's call this here also. And here also. For these two, I need to call the function update followers. And update followers don't need any parameters, so I will not pass any parameter. Okay. So what I did, I called this patch and I call the functions which I want to test. At each function, I will name it as a thunk. I will put the variable name thunk and I will whatever is returned here will be assigned to thunk. Okay, now I will call this thunk. Now, what is the thunk? So, when I call this thunk as add to do mango, that means add to do is called, and this is nothing but this function. Okay, this function. This is nothing but this function. So, when I when I see what is the thunk, let's try to do console.log. I'm not sure if it will show it here correctly, but I, I'm just putting it and see what it comes. So this thunk should nothing but, because if you see, this function is returning another function. So when I assign this add to do to thunk, so the value of thunk will be nothing but this function. And I can initialize this function in my action file. So let's see what I get in the thunk. Mm -hmm. Let's test only the action and see what we are getting it. Okay, I think I'm not getting it properly as like yesterday, so let's run it here. Okay, let's run the whole test, see what we are getting it. Or let's run the test file only. Okay, so if you see, if you see thunk, thunk is nothing but a function. And what is the function it is calling? Let's try to do JSON dot stringy file. Oh, Let's try again this one. Okay. Okay, so uh, maybe it's not converting properly that function, but uh, it's it's function. You saw that it's function. So what function it is? So whenever I call this action, when I call this action, it returns this function. So when I try to do the console.log of thunk, it is nothing but this function. And for this, it will be nothing but this function. And for this, it will be nothing but this function. So once I get this function, if I want to call this function, if I want to call this part, I will, I will say, thunk. I will initialize the thunk, and I will pass the dispatch because this function expects the parameter dispatch. So when, if I want to call this add to do, I put it in the variable and then I call the thunk with the dispatch. So it will be nothing but we are calling this function and passing the dispatch as our, our custom function, which I created here. So in second case, I will get the thunk for update to do, and third case also I'll call dispatch, fourth case also I'll call dispatch. So for every case, I call the dispatch. So when, I'll just ask one question. 
So when I call this function, it is returning this function. This function is now in the string format unless we call the initialize it with the round bracket. So here we are initializing it with round bracket and passing the dispatch. Why we are passing dispatch? Because this is expecting dispatch here. Okay, so if you have not understood this part, maybe you can watch the video again and ask me tomorrow what I'm trying to say this one. Now what I will do, I call this dispatch here, right? Now, once I call, since this is a dummy function, I will create another variable called as calls. Okay, first let's try to see what uh, dispatch is coming and then I will show you what I'm trying to do. So I will do console.log of dispatch. Let's see what dispatch is showing me. Or wait, let's see what dispatch.mock shows. This is the custom function of the JEST. So it gives me some object with the mock. Let's see what mocks give. So if you see the mock, I put the console.log of mock. It has the calls, it has the instances, it has this, this, this. It has the return results value and it has the last call. Okay, last call was with which payload and what is the payload was there. So these things so we are getting it. So let's try to do the calls. Let's see what calls come. So what I will do. I will say I will I will destructure this dispatch dot mock because since the dispatch dot mock give me calls, I will put in the calls variable which comes from the dispatch dot mock. Okay, so let me do this one. Let's copy this calls part in all our functions. Let's see what calls we're getting it. Okay, let's run it and see what calls is coming as. <coughs> so if you see the calls, this is the calls, it is nothing but a function and uh, it is nothing but an array, sorry, not function. So and the array, at the zero position we have another array. And at the zero position of another array, we have the object. And this object has a type of site details to do, which is nothing but this one. Since this function has only one dispatch, that is the reason we are getting only one array or one element inside the main array. So this is a main array. And this is the first array, first element, which is also an array. But we are getting only one of them. If it would have been two dispatch, for example, if I would have created two dispatch, maybe I can say two, and then if I run this again, so now you will see array will have two elements. Now you will see the cause is having the array and the first element is also array, second element is also array. First element is add to do, second element is add to do two. Since I have put two dispatch, and so we are getting two elements in the array. And, and if it was only one, then I was getting only one dispatch. So to test the action, we need to check the number of dispatch we get it. So we can say expect calls, since calls is the array, I can also say calls dot length dot to b equal to one. Okay. Or I can also say there is another way also. We can use anything, whatever you like. Expect calls 
since cos is an array, we can say to have length of 1. We, we saw that call is having the one length because it has only one dispatch. If it is two dispatch, then it will give the length of two. So this way I can, I, I'm sure that this is working fine. So to test the action, we have to do like this only. We will also test the payload, which we are getting at this payload. So I will also say expect so calls is an array, it has a zero element, inside zero we have another zero, and then it has a payload. So payload will be, so I can say, what will be the payload? Payload nothing, or payload will be this object, kind of thing, this object. So in this object we have the task, which is nothing but we are sending it, what we are sending it. So I can say payload, dot task because payload is nothing but this object so payload dot task will be nothing but to equal and it will be nothing but this mango I will also do the console dot log of this payload so you can see so let's do this console dot log of payload so this is another thing I can check. And one more thing I can check here. The type, 0, 0, or, and the type. Type should be equal to nothing but what we get it here. So I have written three expect statement for this add to do. Now we will see if all these three uh, you will not be able to see right now because we have to finish everything, but at least we will see this payload and we'll see what we are getting it. So you will see the payload is nothing but this object and task is something. Mango, which we have, and all tests are passed in this action, but still we have to write it. It's not done completely. At least we completely pass this three test. So first thing we test the type. Second thing is we test the uh, payload task if it is mango. Because I'm sending mango, I expect the return should be also mango. So let's try to let's try to copy these three lines and I'll put it here. Here, what will be there? Now you have to tell me. What will be the length in the update to do? Whether it is one dispatch, two dispatch, whether I will see length of one or two. One. So same, this part will be the same. What, what will be the type here? Whether this type will work or it will fail, what type should I put? Whether this type will work or no for the update? Yes or no? No, because this is to do one. So we have to copy this update part. And what will be the payload? Payload is nothing but the IDX which I am passing. So payload will be nothing but the zero because I am passing zero here. So payload should be zero. Okay, so these three tests are done. Let's run this and see if we are getting all success. So it is not done, we have to do the, for the last one, we have to do it. But you will see all these are passed. Okay, now let's try to do for the last one. Okay, so this one is correct. Now let me copy this and put it here. Now, this last one is what will be the length of dispatch in the last one? Whether it will be 1 or it will be 2. Okay, so the thing is that either try will happen or catch will happen. So when the result will come, it will be only 1. So 1 is fine here. So 1 is fine here. What about type? What will be the type? 
So here the type will be side detail followers. Okay, let's try to do the console of this one. Response. And I will also do the console of this error dot message. Okay. Now what will be the payload? Payload is something what we get in the results. So let's see what is the response I'm getting here in this case. I am not using any mock data right now, but I will put the mock data in a minute. Right now I'm just using this whatever we are getting it response, the real access one, but I will change it to the mock one in a minute. So let's try to do the calls of payload also. And I will also get response here. Let's see what response we're getting it. So I'm getting this one. Okay, something is wrong. Reading is wrong. Undefined zero. Okay, so what is the problem? We are not getting the response. I, though this is using a sync, we can use the We can uh, use the await for this one and see that one. Okay, let's check one second. Let me check. Yeah, so let, let's try to put the async here because this is the async call. And I will say here await, okay? Because this is the async call here, if you see. So we need to put the await here. Let's do same thing here. And let's do the async here. Okay, so I put the async here and await it and we will test it one more time and see what response we are getting. Okay, now I'm getting some response because I put the async call. So you will see the response is this data, which I'm getting, the results of this is this object. And the payload which I'm getting is all the results. It is the real results which we are getting it. Okay, so we are getting correctly this payload. So we are getting this followers also correctly. We are getting the payload, but payload should be equal to uh, so payload should not be equal to zero because this is a different response. We are getting the response of this as an array. So I can, I will change this one in a minute, okay? So now what I have to do, before I call this function, I don't want the real data to be passed. This is the real one. I don't want the real data to be passed. I want some dummy data should come. So what I will do, I will create one dummy data here. So I'll say constant mock data is equal to, it should be the object, an object has a data, because you see the response is the object with the first value of data, and then with the results, and the results is the array. So data is also object, and we get the results of array. Right now I'm not concerned what results is having anything. I can put some dummy object, maybe two dummy object. Here I can say x equal to one. I will not put a real data, y equal to two. So this is the mock data. I want to pass this mock data in this access call. 
So I will create this data and I will write one line of statement that will convert this real data to mock data. So here I will say, just to spy on, we have to spy on what? We have to spy on access. We have to spy on this access part. And which function in the access? We have to check the get call of the access. If we have post here, then we will check the post call. Now we have to check the get call. So here I'll say get call. One second, one second. I'll be back in one minute. Okay, so what I'm trying to spy on, I want to try to spy on this access. And which function I want to spy? Get. And tomorrow if we have the post request, I will say spy on access to the post. And once I do the spy, I want what value I want to be returned. So here I will say mock return value. And this return value is nothing but this mock data. So now when access call is called, it will not give me the real response from the server. It will return me this part. So the payload which I am getting here will be nothing but this result part. And so I, here I can check payload dot length should be, since I put two objects, it should be equal to two. And type should be same whatever I put it and call should have length of one. Let's try to test this condition and see if we're getting this data. Okay, so if you see now, my response is coming, okay. So my response is coming, this data results with two objects, and then we are getting the payload of this one, and the payload is having two elements, which is correct. So we are getting correct payload, and the response is also correct. So this should work fine. Same thing I will copy now here. I will copy this mock. I don't need mock data. I'll call the js dot spy on. But here we need to trigger the error. What is the error? We need to trigger this error part. So what I will put here in the in this mock part, I will say mock rejected value. So it should be mock rejected value. And if you see, error is the object with a, with the first key as a message. So we need to make something like that. So I need object, and in the object. I want the message. Message will be test error. So here I call the rejected value, then it will go to the catch block. And I will put some message as a test error. Then I call dispatch, thunk, await this one, calls, after calls, I will copy all these lines. And what will be the type here? The type here, nothing but this one. And length of one is fine. But what will be the payload? Here we are getting the payload of error dot message. So the payload should be payload should be nothing but this test error. Okay, so I, I will see because I put the console dot log here, you will see this response error here also. So let's try to run this one and see what happens now. So you will see here, response, this is for the first one, response is coming like this. And this is the second test case where error is showing test error and all tests are passed successfully. 
So let's uh, remove the console statement now. We don't need console. This was only for testing purpose. And if I don't put mock data, it was coming in the real response from the server. But once we put the mock one, it is showing the mock response. Now I will run the whole test cases and see what is the percentage for the action file. Here I see 100, but let's run completely and see. So these errors are coming from the components because we did not did it. Now action is showing all 100. Reducer is showing all 100. That's what we try to achieve today and yesterday. Okay, so just I'll give you this whole file. You can run it in two minutes and let me know if it is working as it is working for me. Though we are getting so many errors, we will fix it because components are changed, variables are changed. So we need to fix all this, uh, which we will do tomorrow. So let me give you in the React Telegram group. So just test this function file in two minutes and we will talk after that. Okay, so that's all for today. Any questions?